Now in this video we are going to discuss question number 1, sub question 1 from exercise 4.1. Now in this question we have to obtain the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve y equal to 3x square minus x plus 1 at the point 1 comma 3. So we have to obtain equation of the tangent and the normal to this curve and the point given here is 1 comma 3. So at this point what will be the equation of tangent and the normal. So the first step is we need to obtain the slope of the tangent. Now in order to find the slope of the tangent we take the derivative of the given equation. So we say y equal to 3x square minus x plus 1 differentiating with respect to x gives us dy by dx equal to 3 times derivative of x square is 2x minus derivative of x is 1 and derivative of constant value that is 1 is 0. So we have dy by dx equal to 6x minus 1. So the value of dy by dx at 1 comma 3 is 6 times 1. So we substitute the value of x over here. So 6 times 1 minus 1 that is 5. And this dy by dx is actually the slope of the tangent. So therefore we could say the slope of the tangent at 1 comma 3 is 5. So we have the slope, we have a point. Now we could obtain the equation of the tangent using the slope point form. And we know that the slope point form is y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. Now x1, y1 are 1, 3 and slope m is 5. So we substitute these values here. So we get y minus 3 equal to 5 times x minus 1. So y minus 3 is equal to 5x minus 5. Rearranging the terms, we get the equation of the tangent as 5x minus y minus 2 equal to 0. So now we have obtained the equation of the tangent. So how do we obtain the equation of the normal? Now if you observe, the tangent and normal, they are perpendicular to each other. Right? So if slope of the tangent is 5, so slope of the normal will be its negative reciprocal, that is minus 1 by 5. Using the property m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. Right? For perpendicular lines. So, as the normal is perpendicular to the tangent, the slope of the normal at 1 comma 3 is minus 1 by 5, the negative reciprocal of this slope. So, 5 and its negative reciprocal would be minus 1 by 5. So, again for the normal, we have the slope, we have the point. Again, we use the slope point form to obtain the equation of the normal which is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. Now x1, y1 are 1 and 3 respectively and m is minus 1 by 5. So we obtain y minus 3 is equal to minus 1 by 5 times x minus 1. Now 5 we multiply on the left hand side. So we have 5y minus 15 equal to minus x plus 1. Rearranging the terms, we get the equation of the normal as x plus 5y minus 16 is equal to 0. We now look at sub-question number 2 from question number 1. Here again, we need to obtain the equation of the tangent and a normal to the curve 2x squared plus 3y squared equal to 5 at the point 1, 1. So first of all, we need to obtain the slope of the tangent. And in order to obtain the slope of the tangent, we need to take the derivative of the given function. So we consider 2x squared plus 3y squared equal to 5. We differentiate with respect to x. Now this is an implicit function. So when we take the derivative, we obtain 2 times derivative of x squared is 2x plus 3 times derivative of y square 
is 2y dy by dx is equal to derivative of 5 is 0. So we get 4x plus 6y dy by dx is equal to 0 or 6y dy by dx is equal to minus 4x. Now we divide 6y over here on the right hand side and we simplify we get dy by dx equal to minus 2x upon 3y. Now we obtain the value of dy by dx at the point 1 1. So we get minus 2 times 1 right x is 1 upon 3 times y again y is also 1. So dy by dx at 1 1 is minus 2 by 3 and this is actually the slope of the tangent okay at 1 comma 1. So therefore we could say the slope of the tangent at 1 comma 1 is minus 2 by so we have the slope, we have the point and now we could obtain the equation of the tangent using the slope point form which is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So this is x1, y1 and this is m. So using the slope point form we get the equation as y minus y1 that is 1 equal to m, m is the slope that is minus 2 by 3 into x minus x1. x1 is also 1. We multiply 3 on the left hand side. We get 3y minus 3. Here we open the brackets. We get minus 2x plus 2. Rearranging the terms, we get the equation of the tangent as 2x plus 3y minus 5 equal to 0. Next we have to obtain the equation of the normal. Now, as we know that the normal and tangent are perpendicular to each other and since slope of the tangent is minus 2 by 3, the slope of the normal will be its negative reciprocal, that is 3 by 2. So therefore, we could say as normal is perpendicular to the tangent, the slope of the normal at 1 comma 1 is 3 by 2. So you take the reciprocal and change the sign. The slope of the normal is 3 by 2. So for the normal, we have the slope, we have the point, and now we could obtain the equation of the normal again using the slope point form. And we get y minus y1 which is 1 equal to m. m is 3 by 2 into x minus x1. x1 is also 1. We multiply 2 on the left hand side. We get 2y minus 2 equal to multiply the here by 3. So we get 3x minus 3. Rearranging the terms we get the equation of the normal as 3x minus 2y minus 1 equal to 0. We now discuss sub question number 3 of question number 1 from exercise 4.1. Here also we have to find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve x square plus y square plus xy equal to 3 at the point 1 comma 1. Now this is also an implicit function. So in order to find the slope of the tangent, we first differentiate this equation with respect to x and we obtain the value of dy by dx. So let us differentiate x squared plus y squared plus xy equal to 3 with respect to x. We get derivative of x squared is 2x plus derivative of y squared is 2y dy by dx plus now here we apply the product rule, u into v rule. So x times derivative of y plus y times derivative of x which is 1 is equal to, now derivative of 3, 3 is a constant so its derivative would be 0. Now let us simplify further, so we get 2x plus 2y dy by dx plus x times dy by dx plus y times 1 is y is equal to 0. Now, we just separate out dy by dx terms. So, the first bracket would contain 2x plus y plus taking dy by dx common in the second and third term. We are left with x inside plus 2y and the common factor outside dy by dx is equal to 0. So, we have brought down this 2x and 2y, sorry, 2x and y together as one group. And in these two terms, we have taken dy by dx common. Now transferring this group on the right hand side, 
we get minus of 2x plus y and then we divide x plus 2y over here to obtain dy by dx as minus of 2x plus y divided by x plus 2y. So this is the value of dy by dx. Now we obtain dy by dx at the given point that is at 1 1. So we substitute the values of x and y as 1 respectively. So we get minus of 2 times x that is 2 times 1 plus 1 divided by x that is 1 plus 2 times y. y is also 1. So 2 1s is 2 plus 1 that gives 3. 1 plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 again 3. So dy by dx at 1 1 is minus of 3 by 3 which is minus 1. And this is actually the slope of the tangent at 1 1. So hence we could say the slope of the tangent at 1 1 is minus 1. So we have the slope of the tangent. We have a point. Now we could find the equation of the tangent using the slope point form. And we obtain y minus 1 is equal to minus 1 that is slope into x minus 1. So if we simplify this, we obtain the equation of tangent as x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. Now as we know that the normal and the tangent are perpendicular to each other, therefore slope of the normal at 1 comma 1 will be 1. So since slope of tangent is minus 1, the slope of the normal will be 1. Now we have the slope, we have the point for the normal so therefore, we could obtain the equation of the normal using the slope point form. And we get y minus 1 is equal to 1 into x minus 1. Simplifying this, we get the equation of the normal as x minus y is equal to 0. Like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.